James, I don't know if you can hear me, but I remember seeing on TV that people could remember what happened around them when they were in a coma. At least, I think that's what's going on with you. I just finished the first day since I had to move you out of our frozen over bunker. The world just got so cold, our machines couldn't hold it off anymore. The only thing I could think was just dig underground and hope it insulates us. It isn't quite as cold down here, but I'm hoping we can survive. I wasn't able to bring anything with me from our Arctic wasteland in our frozen planet, and there's no way to return. Just when I got to the bottom of the hole I dug for us, the entrance caved in. It seems to be completely blocked with ice and snow. I figure I'll work all day down here, then report in to you what's going on. Keep us both company that way. I do remember how talking to my dad, well, the AI that my dad made, it helped keep me sane when I was living in the fallout bunker, and with any luck, we'll make it out here. You'll wake up and we can reconnect with Edward, the master mage. Damn, it's so cold in this room, but I think I need to keep you frozen for now until I figure out how to wake you up. I'm tired, James. I'm going to go to sleep and continue working on this tomorrow. Sleep well.